Hello, welcome to LabVIEW Advantage. In this video, we'll learn how to perform recursion in LabVIEW. Recursion means when a function calls itself again. In LabVIEW, when a VI calls itself as a sub VI, then it is called recursion. So what we're trying to do is we're going to write a code to demonstrate recursion in LabVIEW. In this example, we'll be writing a code for the to determine the factorial of a number. So we have got the input and output terminal of a sub VI. To use the VI as a sub VI, we'll drag the icon of the VI into the block diagram. As you can see at the moment, the recursion is not enabled. That's why what we're seeing is the icon of the VI is grayed out. That means the VI cannot call itself as a sub VI. So now, for the requirement of the factorial, what we have to do is we can do like uh, for example for consecutive numbers we can type that way but since it is going up to very large numbers so one dot dot means any number that proceeds after one so now what we'll do is we'll write the code for the factorial we have to do the yen multiplied by yen minus one yen is the value that has been entered now we'll calculate the yen minus one we'll use the decrement vi and input that terminal into the same vi we're working on at the moment since we don't have terminal at the moment we have to configure in the connector pane now this sub vi will calculate the value using the using the n minus 1 and now we'll multiply the n and n minus 1 that will be the function and the result will be the output of the numeric 2 Now our code is complete, but we still have to do configure the VI properties at the moment. The arrow is broken as well as the sub VI icon is grayed out. So what we have to do is we have to go to execution and we have to select the reentrancy into shared clone reentrant execution. This means now, as you can see, the arrow is solid as well as the icon is solid as well. So we are checking 0, that means 3, it has to come 6. And that's how you perform the recursion in LabVIEW.